interested in particle physics, I, it was important to me that there are several experimental branches, and among them is IceCube, and the other one is Atlas. And I happen to be lucky to work with both of them. Each of these dots is actually one of these bigger digital optical modules. Yeah, we need such a big machine in order to collect all the data that we can get. Two different projects which were similar in a sense but still different enough. The reason why we are here is because I want to show you two things. One is the experiment that brought me to Uppsala and the experiment that I worked on in Uppsala. What you see here, these light things, they are actually simulated events of these uh, charged particles that produce strength of light that is detected. And the color tells you when they are detected. And then you would see, blo uh, see bigger and smaller blobs according to what energy these particles have. So each of these dots is actually one of these bigger digital optical modules which look at the light that comes from below, detect it, and process all the data inside this little glass bowl. And all of this is submerged in ice, and this actually were, bo were both partially developed as well as tested here in Uppsala. Instead I walked to the, to the Atlas people, and they happened to have a huge celebration of a media event of the LHC startup. And so somebody said, okay, you should talk to this researcher. And so I got to talk to him and said, okay, this is me, um, this is what I'm interested in, what kind of project would you offer me? And he said, okay, yeah, this is the project that you could possibly work on, would you be interested? And I was interested from the first moment, and it was so uncomplicated. He said, okay, let's get you started. On Monday, I just started, um, and I was welcomed as being like a part of the research crew from the first day. And I think that was really amazing because um, there was no feeling of being a student anymore. It was really this feeling of, yeah, you do an important contribution. This gives an additional appeal because you work in the same building as people who got the Nobel Prize, which is our Olymp, right? Uppsala University is extremely well connected within all kinds of important research fields that are right now cutting edge, edge research. And I can only judge particle physics, but they are involved in two of the major experiments. And that gives a major boost in motivation. And the fact that the teachers are actually relating their research experience to their courses, makes it even more lively experience. With the advent of these huge machines, be it IceCube that I showed earlier, or the Atlas experiment to my back, or the other amazing experiments that are run at the Large Hadron Collider, because these experiments can tell us the answers that we were longing for over a hundred years. The question of dark matter is something the standard model has no answer whatsoever. And this is why we believe there's something else out there and the LHC is surely going to probe this and is surely going to check for this. And this is what makes it so exciting because Uppsala is right there on the top with the people who work on this. This is what makes Atlas so tricky because you have a very messy environment. You have enormously many tracks here and you have to sort out every single thing. You have to sort out what is this particle, where does it come from and where does it go? And only when you have this information, you can tell, was there anything else? You have this independent route, which really helped me personally, developing, first of all, the confidence that I could actually pursue PhD stu studies that I'm doing right now. So even though there is a predefined route, it is completely up to you to set up your own, your own unique uh, profile of what, what courses do I want to follow? What projects do I want to work? And in this sense, it's not an out-of-the-box master's degree that you get here, but something really tailored to your needs.